This is our feelings kit class, and I'm so excited for everyone to come here. This is definitely a group discussion, so we'd love to have input. Feel free to interject and um, just be able to give your input. Okay, so welcome y'all. My name is Amy Castles. I'm very happy that y'all are here. This class is about emotions and emotions can be very difficult and scary and it's so much easier to suppress emotions than to actually recognize, feel, and process them. And I think that we can all agree that sometimes we just, we don't want to deal, we just want to push them down and then just move on. But when we start to release this of these emotions that that begin to just bury and compound and compound then we move into a positive direction and to, into a positive state that actually can give us a free lifestyle As somebody gave me an analogy today that said she said i'm like a septic tank if you know what a septic tank is there's a bunch of stuff at the bottom of the septic tank right and at the top is where the, the clear water comes but when something happens it's like stick it's it's like sticking a stick in there and stirring up all the beep so sometimes these things can happen just like that and that was something that happened to me just yesterday and I had a reaction towards someone based on something or a behavior that they did in the past and they did something that triggered and reminded me and it stirred up stuff so therefore I treated them like the past and that wasn't fair to them and it wasn't fair to me that was a moment where I said well I didn't say that right <laughs> right at that moment of time it took me 24 hours later and a call to a friend to say hey that's something we need to work on we need to clean out the septic tank right we learn about and develop emotions from birth. Believe it or not, babies feel emotions from the time they are conceived. Their conception is very important. Obviously, it needs to be a happy conception. Through early childhood and development and onward, emotions are so important. And in fact, one of the best things you can do as a parent is teach your children how to recognize emotions and be able to learn and process them. Remember, in school, they would have the emotions charts where the kids could point to how they were feeling. Somewhere along the way, those got dwindled down into just a few emotions. We don't, we don't really identify with saying, I'm feeling perplexed right now. Nobody says that. Or I'm feeling overwhelmed. We just say, I have anxiety. But when you start to dig, we can start to recognize this. For men, oftentimes it's anger these emotions just go straight to anger. So in this class, we're gonna share some popular essential oils to use that can help with various emotions. We'll also share some different techniques and some testimonies throughout the class where you can see them in real life. We don't wanna give you just a canned speech class. This is about real usage from real people. There's science behind this. When we're talking about emotions, we have to talk about the limbic system. The limbic system is a part of the brain. It's nerves and networks in the brain that control basic emotions. And these emotions, it's basically your emotional brain, your limbic system. It supports five major functions, emotions, behavior, motivation, long-term memory, and a sense of smell. So your sense of smell triggers the limbic system and then the emotions come. So essential oils have the ability to tap directly into the limbic system to stimulate memories and emotions. As you inhale essential oils, the tiny molecules enter the nasal cavity and they pass by the olfactory bulb. This olfactory bulb is the part of your limbic system and it's therefore your response to an aroma that's going to be emotional before it's rational. So you're not going to go... I smell this, I smell this, I smell this, and then let me think about the memory of where it came from. Oh, I just remembered my grandma was super awesome. Oh, now I have wonderful feelings. No, it's backwards. It's smell the oil, feel wonderful feelings, then you remember why. So it's that stage versus the opposite. 
your sense of smell triggers emotion, emotions based on relationships. If you had a good relationship, that's, that should be a good emotion that comes up, but also it can be a negative emotion. So this can trigger some things in you, feelings of anger, sadness. That's why it's important to be able to identify feelings and emotions so that we can stop and go, wait, why am I feeling sad all of a sudden? Let's work into this. Let's dig into this. Okay. So I'd love to have Miss Sarah Rasnick share her testimony of what she did with the feelings kit. So Sarah, go ahead. Hi. Uh, sorry. I just got my convention delivery here. So I'm geeking out over here. Um, maybe if you guys have a minute at the end, you can see the new diffuser. Uh, all right. Sorry. So, um, about, I guess it's almost been a little over two and a half years ago. Um, I lost my dad to cancer. It was a six year battle. Um, so we knew it was coming, but we're never ready. And um, I didn't know my dad until I was um, 22. So losing him after knowing him for, I guess it was 10 or 12 years, bad at math, um, was hard. It was, it was really hard. And I had my kids were two and one at the time and he lives in rochester new york i live in houston texas uh, we flew up for the funeral and um came back and i was just not good um i'm a stay-at-home mom so um you know my kids needed me every second of the day and i was barely functioning i would put them in their play, I would feed them, I would put them in their playroom, and then oftentimes I would go and sit in the next room and just listen and make sure that they were okay, but I didn't want to get off the couch. I just wanted to be under the covers and not even process the world. Um, and so I called a really good friend of mine, actually my um, enroller and sponsor, and I told her what I was going through, and I said, is there anything oil wise that can help? I have heard over and over and over at convention and things about oils and emotions. And honestly, to this point, I didn't really believe in them. Um, but I'm willing to try anything at this point. And sweet person she is, she used her um, essential rewards points and sent the feelings kit to my door. And I got it, opened it, didn't have a clue what to do with it. So I Googled Young Living Feelings Kit and found a protocol. And it was this big long thing that said it was going to take like two hours. And I was like, well, I got two little ones. I got five minutes in the morning and five minutes at night. And so that's what I'm going to do. And um, so I wrote down, it's actually been a while since I've had to walk through this. So that's a testimony in itself. So I had to write it down <laughs> and remember what I used to do. So I would, five minutes in the morning, five minutes at night, I would open Valor and put a drop on um, one of the soles of my feet, either left or right, whichever. And I would say, um, I am grounded in my purpose. And I would I would say that in my mind as a prayer. Um, you can choose whatever you believe. And then I would get harmony and I would put it on the top of my head, um, the crown of your head. And I would say, I am at harmony with those around me and in my circumstances. And then I would, this one was huge for me. So forgiveness, forgiveness, People think of forgiveness as forgiving other people. And oftentimes we also need to forgive ourselves for things. And so um, that was a huge realization in itself when I read that. So maybe that helps someone else as well. But I would put a drop of forgiveness on my hand and put it around my navel, around my belly button clockwise. Um, so the way that you do it matters. 
Um, so clockwise is kind of like an opening um, effect as opposed to counterclockwise, which is like a closing effect. Um, and I would say I forgive myself and others of their trespasses. And then I would get release. Um, these all come in the feelings kit over my liver. And I would say I release negativity, all negativity. And then present time. And this one is huge for me and a lot of women that have a hard time being present where they are and not having that to-do list in their head. Um, so I would say, um, so that would, that one you put on your chest and you kind of use a tapping most motion to allow the negative feelings to release. And you would say, I am present in every situation. Now, just a side note, you can um, alter what you say with these. This is just what I said. Um, and then inner child. Um, so inner child was made on the premise that somewhere along the line, um, people use their, lose their innocence, their childhood innocence. And so it, it's supposed to help bring it back. So that one you put under your nose. And I would say um, I reconnect with my uh, inner child and my childlike self and creativity. And then you would get valor again and you close with valor. So you would say, um, or I would say, I am grounded in my purpose and I would close it on the opposite foot that I started with. And so I would take, like I said, five minutes morning, um, right after I got out of bed and then at night before I went to bed and do that. And it made all the difference in the world, like to the point where my husband was like, if I, if I skipped a morning or an evening, my husband was like, go take five minutes and use your oils because I can tell. I'll just say that I can tell go go do your thing <laughs> and then um, also another thing was trauma life I ordered that for myself and um, that one is obviously for experience trauma they say to put it over your heart so I ordered that one and it's um, one that I say points for and I got it a day when I was not good um, and I had a huge headache and that just wouldn't go away. And I opened up the bottle and I smelled it and I was very upset that I really did not like the smell of it. And I had always heard, if you don't like the smell of it, it means that you need it. Like I didn't want that oil to exist anymore. I hated it that much. And so I was like, okay, well, I'm pretty upset because I don't want to wear that one over my heart right now. And so I went back to what I was doing, not really functioning. 20 minutes later, I found myself laughing and playing with my kids. <laughs> and I was like, okay, well, that's the only thing that I've done different. About two hours later, my headache started coming back and I went back in the kitchen and I found my oil and I put it over my heart. And again, about 20, 30 minutes later, my headache started to fade and I started to be myself again. And so I started carrying it around in my pocket. And now to this day, I love this oil. I don't run out of it and I actually like the smell of it. So that is the truth. I actually did need it pretty bad. <laughs> um, and like I said, it, it made a huge difference. Now, how did you learn how to do the protocol? I just Googled it. I didn't have the mind space to, to dive in. So but for a certain amount of time. Um, I, I did do it until the oil was gone, but I would say that I noticed a huge difference after probably five days of being consistent I noticed that it started making a huge difference and probably two weeks in is when my husband started telling me <laughs> that he could tell a difference wow so and I only I actually diluted them a little bit I made rollers of them so um I even didn't use them as you know full potency. 
Um, so I think I put, I took five mil rollers and I put like 10 drops of the oil, like each oil separately. So I made six rollers, um, if that makes sense, and put 10 drops in a five mil um, roller and then filled the rest with the carrier oil and I would apply them that way. That's awesome. So um, what y'all can, you can see a pattern is that it was the consistency of using the oils every day. It was the powerful different blends or the different oils that are within each blend that played a huge role in this. In addition to that, it was the affirmations that she used. And if you don't really understand affirmations, um, it's, you know, would you, if you saw a little four-year-old child saying, I'm ugly, I'm ugly, you would tell the child, don't say that, don't say that. You know to tell that child, don't say that, because those words speak power. Well, the opposite also speaks power too, right? We know that. You would tell the child, you're beautiful, you have to love yourself, you are, say you're beautiful, you know. Um, as adults, we think these thoughts inside of our head, it's just as bad, or it's just, it's just as rough on our bodies to think these thoughts as it is to say them out loud. So when you think of how important that is, think of the affirmation aspect of it as well. So what you choose as an affirmation is completely up to you. There's going to be tons of stuff online though. I mean, you can, there's a book by Louise Hay called uh, Feelings Buried Alive Never Die. That's an excellent book. Um, there's a ton of them that you can look up for just learning how to do affirmations. So we're going to move on to some of our oils here. I hope you can see it. Um, <laughs> I, keep, I don't know how to turn off notifications on my computer and they keep coming in. So anyway, here's Harmony. This particular oil I actually really like to bring to my yoga class. I love it because I want to have Harmony in the room. I'm really excited to have the aroma rings here pretty soon because they already are scented with oils. However, you can re-scent them if you want to. And those of you who don't know, these are little silicone nose rings that have essential oils on them. So it's pretty cool. I'm excited. So I'm totally taking that harmony and I'm going to put it on that little nose ring to put in my, to put in my nose. But many of you are new on this call and it's really hard to be able to go through all the different oils that are in these blends, but the best thing I can tell you is that if you were to go to Home Depot or Lowe's to a plant store and you go and look at the different plants, you're going to you're going to find that inpatient flowers are really 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 cheap. But if you go to the roses, they're really really expensive. So the same goes for these essential oils that are in these particular blends. So those of you who know about essential oils and know the value of some of these, I'm just going to tell you what's in Harmony and you'll automatically know why. If you're new, you're probably not going to know why. Sacred, friends and fa sacred frankincense, okay, those come from trees that are over 30 years old. The tree has to be 30 years old before they can harvest the, um, excuse me, sacred sandalwood. They have to be over 30 years old for them to harvest the sacred sandalwood. That makes it a pretty valuable oil. Lavender, ylang ylang, frankincense, orange, angelica, geranium, hyssop, Spanish sage, black spruce. Black spruce trees are literally, they're, they're just not in abundance. Uh, and and in order for them to find the trees, the black spruce trees, they had to go and completely open up a new farm in Canada. Uh, blue spruce trees, they actually have to find a harvest, like forage for blue spruce trees so that they can get those in Idaho. Coriander, bergamot, lemon, jasmine, Roman chamomile, palmarosa, and rose essential oil. These are all super powerful, this blend. Uh, of oils is very uplifting and it brings about harmony in the house. I probably could have used this yesterday in diffusing it if I want harmony in my house. So this goes beyond the feelings kit. So there's a protocol that you can do with it, but you can also use it as a once and done. You just grab the harmony, like, oh, I need some harmony right now, adding affirmation to it. So um, you can also use it with the different energy centers within the body. Um, people also call them, they're also called chakras too. 
So balancing and unblocking these different energy energy centers allows for the energy to flow efficiently through the body. If you were to look at the chiropractic charts, you would see that there are a ton of nerve, uh, like there's just these energy centers where there's a, just a big old network of nerves at the at the base of your spine and at the navel uh, right here at the solar plexus underneath your chest um, in your throat and right here between your eyes on top of your head so there's just you want this flow and that's what harmony does okay forgiveness this would be Jen hey 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 how are you guys doing I'm going to talk about forgiveness and Sarah did an awesome job of actually talking about forgiveness because I didn't think about forgiving myself also. Um, that's a huge one. Um, be, especially being a mom or a dad, you know, we don't always make the right choices and do the right things and we need that forgiveness just like our kids do. Um, so forgiveness is not always easy, right? At times it feels more painful than the wound that we may have suffered, um, to forgive the one that inflicted it, whether it be us or someone else. Um, but there is no peace without forgiveness. So we should all forgive. We may not forget, but we should all lend everyone some forgiveness. Um, in a life full of relationships, there will be many times that we need to forgive. When we are bothered by the actions of others or from our past, or we are filled with anger, hate, resentment, and emotional pain. Forgiveness is a way to release all of those negative emotions from your inner body and begin the healing process. One useful technique is to combine deep breathing while inhaling forgiveness essential oil. Deep breathing can be as easy as stopping what you're doing and just taking a slow breath. Amy probably knows a lot about this from yoga. <laughs> um, you're going you're gonna to feel your lungs expand and fill up, and then you're just going to release your breath just as slowly as you took it in. Repeat this two more times. And the blend forgiveness contains sesame, melissa, geranium, frankincense, royal Hawaiian sandalwood, coriander, angelica, lavender, bergamot, lemon, ylang ylang, jasmine, helichrysum, roman chamomile, palmarosa and rose those are some really potent expensive oils in this one in this one little bottle that combination provides an aroma that supports the ability to forgive yourself and others while letting go of negative emotions it is an important part of our personal growth because if we don't forgive somebody we're always standing back we're not allowing ourselves to be fully we are because we haven't forgiven ourselves or someone else. So how do we use this? You can use this topically or you can use it in your diffuser as Amy said. You can apply two to four drops um, directly to your right rib cage or the center of your right foot. Dilution is not required except for the most sensitive skin. You're going to diffuse for six drops, one to three hours if you need it. And the suggested affirmation is, I learn from all of life's experiences. Again, like Sarah said, it can be an affirmation that is something that you find that you're going to say to yourself over again. So that is forgiveness. I literally have a feeling skin. I just forgave you for everything, Jen. I'm Aww, so for my stumbles on my words. <laughs> I've forgiven you all for everything. Thank you. I love you too. I yeah. forgive myself. Y'all, so I just poured this out and I I didn't realize I was out of it, but I've forgotten about this oil. Um I must have been taking a bath in it. Like, I mean, seriously. Uh forgiveness. Yes, it it smells so good. It's it's, it's really good. So, um, and these again, 
you can do the protocol like Sarah said, but you, you're going to learn from this protocol and you're going to have some, some major um, uh, growth from it. But then that protocol and those, the feelings kit is going to sit on the shelf. So there's going to be moments where you're going to be like, I need to go grab some forgiveness right now. And you're going to go over <laughs> and go grab some forgiveness because you're going to know how to use it. You're going to know how it works. And I know, I know that many of you are new here and it seems really weird to put something on the bottom in the middle of one foot or on your left earlobe or on the right fingernail. I just made the fingernail part up, but it's very strange. I totally get it. There's one that's crazy with the inner child and you put it underneath right here underneath on, on the roof of your mouth. And it's so wild, but y'all, it, it works. Our bodies are so complex and connected. So just ask any uh, acupuncturist. He can tell you all about that. Okay, Katie, you are up with your inner child. Hi, guys. I'm Katie. So I'm here to talk about inner child. So I first started out with... The feelings kit, um, Tana is actually the one who got me on it. She kind of posted like her kind of protocol she does in the mornings with some oils. And I already had Valor and was totally hooked on that. And so she was talking ones that she was using. So I'm like, okay, I'll go buy that. And I go and look and I'm like, oh, it's kind of expensive to buy them all. So I actually bought them all <laughs> one by one as I tried them. And I've already rebought the feelings kit because I use these all the time. Um, you know, reacts immediately to an oil the way that you think you're going to. I do want to say consistency is key. Like Sarah said, she did this for five days consistently before she really started noticing a change. And so I think people sometimes they. If they're new to oils, they get one and they're like, okay, I'm going to put this on. I'm going to feel like a kid again. And it's like, you don't always exactly feel exactly how you're going to feel once that's consistent. So I do want to point that out for anybody who is just starting out. Uh, try it for a few days before you really kind of evaluate how you're feeling. So inner child, this one was actually first formulated for kids. Um, who have gone through um, periods of abuse. And so this um, is a great oil that a lot of like social workers use. I used it um, in my classroom. I diffused it and I love this oil. For one, bare minimum, it smells amazing. So even if you're not trying to get the effect of the oil, it smells delicious. It's got orange, tangerine, Ylang Ylang, Jasmine, um, one of the spruce trees, I can't remember if it's blue or black, and then ro uh, Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood. So it is a beautiful oil. Um, so this is to help you reconnect with your inner self and your identity. So it doesn't always have to be a childhood memory. It's for emotional balance um, and it's supposed to stimulate memory response. Just like Amy was saying in the beginning, like all oils are going to stimulate some kind of memory because you're using your olfactory um, system. So smell is the most powerful um, sense that you can use that is going to immediately go back to your brain. Um, it's the fastest way. Um, it's going to immediately stimulate some kind of response. And so um, this oil... I actually didn't really start noticing um, what its true purpose was for me um, until I really started using it um, during my first stages of postpartum depression. And so this was um, a stage in my life that was just completely different from my previous self. Like as soon as you're a mom, a, a, a piece of you kind of, dies away and um, you kind of have to pick that back up um, as you go and for a while I kind of like went through a stage where I missed that old Katie I missed you know 
parts of me that I can't have back, um, at least for another 18 years, and um, maybe none of them in, but this, um, it was so strange when I first started using this, and I'm not making this up, I specifically, every time I smell this oil, I specifically picture a very happy memory of me and my family on the Guadalupe River. And no, this does not smell like the Guadalupe River. It does not even smell anywhere, anything like water. It just triggered that response in me. And this oil anchors me to a happy feeling. And so whether it's um, a happy memory or even if it just stimulates a happy feeling and then you think of a happy thought, just like Amy said, that is what this oil's purpose is for, is to connect you with a part of yourself that you cherish, whether that's, you know, your inner child, or if it's just something about your past or your present that you truly connect with your self-identity. Um, so this oil is just such a good one to have if you are struggling through a stage of your life where you're transitioning, I actually just purchased this oil. I hope it gets here in time too. Um, for my sister-in-law who is currently, um, she just went through a life altering experience and she is now right after that moving um, four hours away from where she is now, picking up everything she owns. Um, changing jobs. Um, so it's just a really big transition in her life. And I really think that this, along with Valor and along with Harmony, all three of those oils are really going to just ground her. Um, so it's a really good gift um, for yourself and for others. So great oil. <laughs> So I would love to share something too. When I went to convention for the first time, I don't know how this happens, but for some reason I just always connect with people um, at the right moments. And it's just so awesome. It makes life really fun. <laughs> and Nikki knows this stuff. And I just somehow connected with these two little old ladies. They were really little. I'm saying little because they were maybe five feet. And for some reason, both of them just, I mean, we're in a huge expo and they just, one comes up to me and the other one comes up to me and they're like, hi. And I was like, hi, hi, you know, and I just started talking to them and they just said, have you ever used inner child? And I was like, no. And she said, put a drop of inner child on your thumb and press it to the roof of your mouth and walk backwards five times. I'm like, what in the hell am I getting myself into at this place? Okay. So I did, I walked backwards and then I turned around and I walked backwards the other way. And then I turned around and all of a sudden I just start crying and I didn't know why I had no idea why. And then, um, then I remembered something and I was like, where in the crap did that come from? And I couldn't even tell you what it is now, but it's released thanks to inner child. So that's good. But um, they do something powerful. It's wild. So this one is present time. We all have moments of needing to just like come back into the present today, only today. The past is behind us. We can learn from it, but it doesn't exist anymore. The past is the past. It doesn't exist anymore. The future is ahead of us. We can prepare for it. But the present is here, right here in this moment. That is by Thomas Monson, not Amy Castles. Okay. So present time contains sweet almond, bitter orange, black spruce, and ylang ylang. So not a whole laundry list of, of different oils, but a powerful blend of a few different oils that work really great to help get you to focus back into the moment, onto, into the here and now. Many of us are thinking about the past, which can bring on feelings of depression, or if you're thinking about feelings of the future, can bring you anxiety. So that is a, a pretty, pretty dirty mix right there, and not a, fun, not a fun little tornado to be in, that's for sure. 
using present time when you're spending time with your family, friends, social gathering, just to put your mind in the moment. Again, you're going to use it with the protocol of the fillings kit, but there's also other uses outside of the fillings kit together. Topical, two to four drops uh, directly to the area two inches below your belly button. Uh, you don't have to dilute because remember, it's already actually diluted because of the sweet almond oil. You can use, uh, you can dilute it more if you need it, but you don't have to. Suggested affirmation. I see clearly. I'm not really sure what that has to do with um, <laughs> present time, but it said it right here, so I read it. Um, you can make up your own. I am, I am present. I am here. I am happy. I am now. I just made that. That rhymes. Did that rhyme? I did. I made that rhyme. Okay, Tana, you are next. Okay, guys. Hi, I'm Tana. Um, Whenever it comes to essential oils, anxiety and emotions and addressing those things with oils is like my bread and butter because that's what hooked me on essential oils. Um, and the feelings kit is the first thing that I bought when I saved up my points on essential rewards. Um, I worked like I kept, you know, I was doing my essential rewards orders and I was just building up those points knowing that once I got to the amount that I needed, I was, boom, I was going to order the feelings kit. Um, because I saw Sarah talk about the feelings kit, um, at a class and I already was using oils, but I didn't know how they really could help address your emotions until I heard her talk about that. So I knew that's what I wanted to get. Um, I want to talk about release. So it's so weird because as soon, right now as I'm starting to talk about it, it makes me want to be emotional because um, that's how passionate I am about this. So release is one of the six oils that comes in the feelings kit and release does exactly what it's titled. Um, it helps you release emotions. So in the protocol that I follow to use the feelings kit, it's a lot like what Sarah was talking about. I have different places on my body. In the morning when I get up, I use them really quickly and I say my affirmations over myself out loud and um, in the evening. Um, and I did that protocol for probably about, um, I would say maybe about a month. And I realized that um, I was consistent. My emotions were consistent. I wasn't on a roller coaster, you know, and being on a roller coaster of emotions is exhausting. And um, I noticed that it was something super quick and easy for me to do. So what I do is I take release and I put it over my liver. So um, especially in Chinese medicine, they talk about how, but it's known all over the world that your liver is... Um, like one of your major detox organs. I mean, it gets all the nasty out of your body that's not supposed to be there, right? It filters, things like that. Well, when you have the way that we live as Americans, you know, we have toxic overload. We don't eat very well. And we are taking chemicals all the, all the time, all day. Um, your liver gets burdened. It gets overloaded. And it's not smoothing things out. It's not filtering the way it needs to. And emotions get backed up and stored in your liver. Um, a lot of anger and things like that. And it's no wonder that we start to have these emotions. And in my mind, I associate like anxiety attacks with an overload of emotions. And um, that's where release comes in. So I take two drops Put, them, put the two drops on my hand and then your liver is right below your right side your, of your ribs and I rub it all over my liver and I say out loud, I'm releasing every negative emotion that I have in my body right now and I'm letting it go. And then I just sit there and rub my hands and I sit and inhale it and then I will sit and inhale the bottle. Um, if you suffer from anxiety attacks, get this oil. I'm serious, y'all. If you suffer from those moments when you're like sweating and you're about to cry because you don't know what's happening, you're going to need this oil. Um, there's been multiple times that I've been able to calm myself back down with this oil. One time at a wedding shower, my cousin walked in and tears were welling up in her eyes from an emotional conversation that she had just had. 
and she's about to have an anxiety attack. And I pulled her to the side and I just started rubbing it on her. And she sobbed. She sobbed, y'all. And she was like, I don't even, I can't even tell you what I'm crying about. And I told her, I said, don't tell me. Just keep, let it keep rolling. Just let it keep going. And um, it's, it's something that whenever you need to let go of emotions, it's what you need. So um, also I um, follow the protocol with it, but I'm a teacher. So I get stressed out pretty easily during the day. So I keep release and valor in my pocket at all times. So I'm usually always cold because it's cold in school and I have like my school jacket on and every morning I will put these in my pocket and I keep them in my pocket and my students know that when they see Miss Man pulling out an oil and smelling it, they don't think anything of it anymore um, because I do use release and valor all the time outside of the protocol of using the six oil. And release is um, a lot of the feelings kit oils are um, a little bit more floral, um, but release is not. It's a bit of a darker smell. Not dark, but um, heavier smell, I guess. Not as light and airy. Um, but y'all, release is the best oil that I've ever used. So I love the different oil combinations that are in there. There's the Royal Hawaiian Sandalwood that is I think the fourth ingredient of there and that is from Hawaii where they have a Royal Hawaiian sandalwood farm just some and I love the 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 um, grapefruit and the tangerine so anytime you have citrus smells they're gonna really amplify and kind of uh, just, they really they're happy oils they're just the happy oils that's, that's why they put the citrus oils in the CBD that we have because those terpenes are really great for making you happy um, I'd love to share with y'all this uh, real funny story real quick. When I travel and especially when I go to places where there's going to be a lot of people, I get really anxious and then I get constipated. And I was like, I know y'all are like, what? Okay. So I go at um, convention and um, this is really embarrassing and I can't believe I'm recording this, but uh, I go and I ask the psychologist that's there because she gives a presentation on all these oils. And I said, what can I do about, um, because she was talking about the physical aspects of holding on to different emotions. And I said, I just, I get so bloated when I travel and I don't know why it's like, I just, I, I'm so bloated and I can't, nothing's moving. And she said, that's because you're anxious and it's having a physical response with your digestion. She goes, you need to go get release essential oil and put it all over your low, lower abdomen. So I walked straight over to the expo where they had all the samples and I just doused my hand in that release oil because you can do that. I mean, people are like taking a bath in those oils because they're just everywhere. Well, I just grabbed me a big old handful of that release. I rubbed it all over my lower abdomen. And I'm telling you, I was crop dusting everybody across that field. I could barely go. I mean, it works fast, fast, fast. Okay, that is all. I know, Vanessa. So present time, if you, if you do release in present time, that works even better. Oh, like to go like right now? You're like, I'm not yeah. talking about go later, right now. Yeah, release in present time. I love it. I love it. Okay, Vanessa is next. Look at her. She can hardly stand it. Go, Vanessa, your valor. Courage. Hey, you need some courage right now because Vanessa gets embarrassed for me. Look at her. Hey, listen. Okay, I'm going to tell you all something really funny. I'm sitting here listening. First of all, I'm not going to lie. This is all very fascinating to me because I'm the type of person that I'm a barrier. Like I just bury things and I just bury it some more and I just bury it some more. And I'm like, what are you listening to all y'all? And I'm like, okay, so the feelings kit is going on my order this next time because I am not going to bury, bury it anymore. So when I'm calling all of y'all to cry my eyes out and y'all are like, oh my God, she's psychotic. Just know it's all of y'all's fault. Okay. Okay. So we got through that <laughs> because I have I have been with Young Living now for six years and the only two oils out of the, the fillings kit that I've used are Valor that I'm going to talk about that is my all-time favorite oil and then Harmony just to diffuse because I love to have Harmony. So, um, okay, so let's get down to Valor. So 
Anyways, it, like I said, it's my favorite oil. It is the oil that comes in the starter kit. It actually came in the starter kit when I first joined and then it went out of stock for like ever and ever because some of the oils in Valor had either one, the rosewood was going in, like it was going extinct. And then um, another one of the oils, they just couldn't, they couldn't um, distill. And so Young Living is never going to compromise anything that they do. And so once we finally got Valor back, Y'all, I have to show y'all something really quick because y'all are going to definitely think I'm psychotic then. Okay, so here's all my bottles. Hold on, I'm not done. Hold on, I'm not done. You can't. Of Valor. No, y'all. Sorry. This is all, let me move my phone. All bottles of Valor. Hoarder. Oh, no. <laughs> it's not a hoarder. It's just if it ever goes out of stock, I cannot be without Valor because I am not an introvert, but I am a like an ambivert. Okay, so that is a person who is in between an introvert and an extrovert. When I go to anything social, like getting on tonight, getting on tonight's call, I had to put Valor all over me. If I'm going to be in a social situation, I have to use Valor just because it gives me courage. That's it. This is exactly what Valor does. It's courage. It is empowering. It's balancing. So if I am going to be in a social, social situation that I know that I'm going to have to be like on, I have to have Valor. Like it is just something that gives me a little bit of just de-stressing and it gives me that courage that I need. Also, when I get home from social situations, don't get me wrong. I love social situations and I love people. But when I get home from social situations, if I've taken on other people's emotions because I'm a true empath, then I will have to use Valor again because it will help me to release some of those emotions that I've brought on. Plus, I get so exhausted um, after certain situations that I will use it to help me to kind of keep on going because it's not like I get to stop when I come home. I still have to parent, you know? Um, so also I will say that the way that I use Valor is I actually like to put it on my brainstem and then I will take it in my hand and I will rub on my hair. And so basically what I do is I will just go lots of drops in my hand. Okay. Then I'll take it, put it on my brainstem, put it in my hair. And then I'll just inhale it, okay? Because that, I just feel like it's getting everywhere and it's going to stay with me for me to be able to smell my hair. So Gary Young created this oil in 1990, so it's been around for quite some time. It also is, it has black spruce in it, it has camphor in it, it has blue tansy, it has frankincense, and it has geranium. Um, it helps with alignment of the spine. It helps with snoring. Um, it helps with fear of obstacles, embarrassment, and failure. Y'all, and we all have been through that before. And so kind of what they have, they were all talking about um, just getting through those emotions and getting like, if you've had a time where you knew that you were going to have to um, get on stage somewhere and you had a really bad experience, well, you have that fear and you have that roadblock, you know? And so what it's doing is once you're using these oils and you're using that valor, it's going to help open up just your mind and just saying, okay, I am going to overcome that fear. I'm going to overcome um, that embarrassment, you know? And so valor is just an oil that you can use every single day. Um, they say for the feelings kit specifically, just like Sarah was saying, is to put it on the soles of your feet. Um, and I loved what she said. I had not read this, but she had said she puts it on one side and to close it off, then she puts it on her other. So that's like a beautiful concept to think about. You know, you're putting it on one. It's also part of the raindrop technique as well. And so what they do before they do the raindrop, they will put Valor on the feet. And then they'll hold the feet. And one time I um, did a raindrop on Chase's before I had really even known. I was just like reading the protocol of how to do it. And I'm, lit no, it was my mom this time. Either Chase or my mom, one of them. I can't remember. But I was holding their feet and I literally felt 
their emotion go out of their body into my body. And it was like the weirdest thing because it was like, it overwhelmed me, but I could literally by holding onto their feet and me having the valor on my hands and having holding onto their feet, I could feel whatever was going on with them. I think it was my mom. It came right into my body. And so Chase, can you remember it was, if it was you or my mom? Okay. Yeah. It was in our whole old house. So I'm just trying to think because I did it to both of them, but I felt it come into me, you know, so that's how powerful these oils are, you know, but like everybody said, consistency is going to be the key. Amy, you may be able to say one of the affirmations that it maybe says on the protocol, because I don't have it, but some of the protocol, like some of the affirmations that you can say is I am fearless and brave. I have nothing to be afraid of. Or um, even if you're saying, you know, I have, I am courageous and I can get through these things, you know? So it's, it's, it's letting, allowing yourself to know that no matter what, you're going to be able to overcome these obstacles. Vanessa, or yes, I just want to say something real quick. I yeah. wrote down the affirmations and then oh, good. In my phone. Okay. And like, it tells you like the order I have it written down, like the reasons why I put certain oils in certain places. And, um, like it says, valor is a calming and grounding oil. I use it each morning to greet it with a positive attitude or to unwind from the day. And, um, my affirmation is I'm grounded in myself and the purpose that I have, um, give me the ability to remain balanced. So like I have it written out for each one. I love that. Anybody uh -huh. looking for that? Like if they don't want to have to find their own, I can text it. Oh. I want that. Hey, also, I wanted to say that valor balances and equalizes the body's energies, thereby increasing oxygen intake to the penile gland. Um, and so if you think about that too, it would be really good to use before you sleep because that is the gland that actually produces melatonin. And so if you had trouble turning things off or if you have trouble going to sleep, valor would actually be a really good oil to use to help you sleep, you know? I use it before bed and I also use it because um, it's kind of like a duo because of the blue tansy, frankincense, and geranium in it. It's very good for your skin. Yes. So, um, it can help with like blemishes or if you have dry skin. So it's really good for like a face serum. So like I put it on like right here on my chin where I get like hormonal acne or stuff like that. I put it like right here so that way it's close to my nose and I can smell it while I sleep. And it's doing its job on my skin. So what you're going to notice too really fast is you're going to come across affirm affirmations that just don't seem like they resonate with you. And there could be a number of reasons for that. A, you could need to just rewrite the affirmation so that it makes sense and it's your words. Or B, maybe it's something that there is a blockage there that you need to work on. So if for, for example, an affirmation could be, I am abundantly blessed. Well, that may or may not come easy for me to say, maybe deep down inside, I actually don't feel abundantly blessed. Then it's not really going to, there, there's going to be a blockage there. Well, there's a technique called Aroma Freedom and technique. that technique is a step-by-step -step process for identifying and releasing negative thoughts, feelings, and memories that interfere with us reaching our goals and our dreams. So it's meant to be used in, as a way to set a person's emotional energy flowing in a positive direction towards growth and expansion rather than contracting in fear, doubt, and paralysis. I can say all I want, I am abundantly blessed, but if I have blockages there and I have fear that immediately comes around that, maybe I grew up where every time a blessing came, maybe a parent uh, came in and, and took it away because they were abusive or something. I mean, anything, I, I'm just, I'm kind of making that up, but and there can be any emotion that immediately follows you saying that affirmation. 
So it's important to use something like aroma freedom technique so that you can dig that, that stuff out. And this technique, you can find uh, tons of them on YouTube. You could follow along with Aroma Freedom Technique there. Um, I am a certified Aroma Freedom Technique uh, practitioner, so I can do them as well. And I'm, I need some valor and I need a little push. And I would love that from Vanessa and Sarah because Sarah loves the AFT and we can do them on here on Zoom. So you can basically, you make up a goal that you want. Maybe your goal is to become, to be fit and healthy. So that's your goal. Then we come up with a affirmation with it later on. And then we start digging out why you haven't achieved that. Because honestly, if you have a goal, why haven't you achieved it? Something's blocking you. If you've always wanted to feel this way or feel that way or look this way or look that way or have this or accomplish that, why haven't you? That's so true, Amy. Like I'm talking that is spot on because we are always going to get in our way. Like we are going to be, be the people that get in our own way every single time. And that's why literally I'm sitting here listening to this and I'm like, okay, so it's time for me to get the feelings kit, you know? So I would think, Amy, what you could do to tie this in is maybe set up an aroma freedom technique, you know, just now, like if we can figure out a time for us to maybe all get back on and go through um, something, or even if you wanted to do it, like where everybody could even get on wellness empowered. If you wanted to walk us through that or something like that, that would be awesome. Cause I feel like that it's like just following through with what you're just saying, you know? So the more the merrier, I'm totally fine with doing a AFT on zoom. That way anybody can get on, um, that maybe, okay. You're going to use some different oils that are from your starter kit and it's lavender stress away and frankincense. So if you have someone that you, that is not a member and they don't have any oils, you can literally send them a little bottle with all three of those oils in there. Okay. So we could do it on zoom that way it's, uh, we, we all have each other. And if we need to stop and talk about something or whatever we can, but just keep in mind, aroma freedom technique can be done with your camera off microphone off, you not even saying a single word, and you could have some huge results from that. So I've led people through uh, an AFT where I pre-recorded it and they had great results, right, Sarah? You did at the house with your, with your girls that came over. So yeah. We, I mean, you, you have one in a group that I have separately and people um, that even have just one oil have walked through them and made life changing, um, results with walking it, walking through it once. Like I have a girl that messages me probably once a week and tells me that she didn't used to be able to plan for things. And now she is making a career of like being a planner and making these creative planners. Wow. And it's been like, two months or something. And she, she only had one oil and she lives far from me. So, so it, buying retail is a good option. I mean, you get great products. You're getting the absolute top of the line essential oils on the market. It's a, it, doing retail is really good, but it's a much better option to have a wholesale kit or a wholesale account. It, our company is like Amazon prime meets Costco. I mean, how cool is that? So we're getting stuff right to our door, free shipping. And in addition to that, we also, um, as the, the absolute best option, most of us have monthly wellness box, uh, boxes. So we save an additional up to from somewhere between 10 and 25% back on our purchases. So I know that may sound confusing, especially if you're new. So just talk to the person who invited you to this, um, this webinar tonight. Okay. Um, I guess that's it. I, does anybody else have anything that they'd like to share or questions, anything at all? I was just going to say real quick, um, to those of you that I sent those affirmations to, I just want to reiterate what Amy was saying. Like 
the affirmations that I have written in there might not be the way you want to say it. And that's totally fine. So just remember that like the one, cause that's it, this, this, the affirmations were like what I, they, I tailored them to kind of what I wanted to say. So if um, you got them and you like are going through them and you're like, Oh, I don't want to do that. Then change it. It's totally fine. So I just wanted to reiterate that. That's perfect. Well, well I appreciate it. Cause that's more of like a guideline along the way versus, you know, just what you said. So having that guideline to it and um, this is Ashley, but anyways, um, <laughs> what I was going to say too, was just recently I went to a chiropractor that did, um, he did functional um, chiropractic and he told me when you do stress and everything else, you know, between your neck up, it keeps your brain cannot function with the rest of your body because you're under so much stress. So when you start to use the oils and things like that and you start to de-stress your brain, then it ends up going to the rest of your body and your body aligns out perfectly. So you're not having all that stress in your body all the time. That is, that's awesome. I had never heard that before. That makes complete sense. Perfect sense. And, and I'm like you, Ashley, I need to have like what Tana has is a guy, like a guideline. And just to give me an idea, like, you know, when the teacher says, let's brainstorm and you're just sitting there like, uh, uh, but then she writes something down and then it, oh, okay. And then now the ball's rolling. Okay. One other thing I said, um, when I talked earlier that I would show the new diffuser that I just got. So. Yeah. Isn't it pretty? It's beautiful. I just had my husband come in and I made him look at it. It's the Lucia diffuser. And I can't wait to get all my stuff. I'm so you excited. Blown glass. Oh my gosh, that's awesome. I love it. Love it. I like the purple. Yeah. <laughs> I'm obsessed. And the little button has like um time measuring things oh it's dark isn't it but um it says 60 90 and 120 so you don't have to guess oh awesome what's on there so that's anyway. it does people from texas we lose our train stop <laughs> <laughs> sorry <laughs> i had to show you bad joke no that was awesome no i'm saying we lose like we we don't know how to press the button i'm like press oh button. which one we, yeah there's that <laughs> done, done. okay all right y'all thank you so much for coming I, I have a really random question oh sure yeah i just uh y'all made me think about my oils does anybody know what this is used for shootron yeah. um, okay so I can tell you, and Shannon, I would love for your input on this too. Well, my husband uses it as cologne. And you want to talk about like a dog smelling meat? When I smell that cologne, I'm like, hey. Okay. So that oil is literally, it's, <laughs> shit, what are you laughing at? Why are you on this? <laughs> that oil um, has blue spruce in there as well, uh, or black spruce. And it also supports the male energies and um, testosterone support male uh, hormones as well. So, I mean, if you were super, super low, I would say go see a doctor, but it's still going to support male hormones, male energy, confidence, all of it. And it smells really good. Shannon, do you have anything to add to that? No, I mean, you really said it. I I don't know if my husband loves it as much as I do, so therefore he loves it because I do. But it it works great for him. I mean, he uses it all the time like cologne. Yeah. And it's really strong. You don't need a whole, whole lot. So I, what I would do is just, like, start putting a little bit, like, right here and maybe on your wrist or something. But just all you need is, like, one drop and then just kind of dab it in because too much is too much. But you may start noticing people noticing you, and then you'll be noticing them noticing. You're single. Like, I'm noticing, noticing me. Okay, that's all. Hold on, I didn't, I didn't get what Nikki said. Oh, 
Uh oh, it's kind of muted. She said, watch out because that stuff is potent. <laughs> so in other words, be careful. <laughs> Ashley, are you a lip reader? Well, you know, when you're a math teacher and a school teacher, that's usually what you do. So, you know, hey, yeah. you know, especially if you want to get in kids' conversations, that really helps. Yeah. So. Okay, any other questions? Anybody else? Okay. All right, y'all. Have a wonderful night. We'll see Thank you, you, Amy. Thank you. For facilitating all this. Kitties, you. Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Good to see you, Tillman. Thank, Thank you. Thank you, Amy. Thank you. Bye.